Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on my channel, this time about integrating Argo uh, rollouts with Argo CD. Uh, what you see in front of you right now is the Argo CD user interface and Argo CD is a, a tool for continuous deployment using a GitOps uh, approach, much like, for example, tools like uh, Flux, where I also have, that I also have videos about. Um, and what we will do in this case is um, we will do a progressive uh, delivery example, uh, a canary deployment we'll do uh, that I discussed in earlier videos on my channel as well. And we'll deploy this application using uh, using this tool, using Argo, uh, Argo CD. If you have followed the previous videos, you have seen that the, the canary deployment at a certain point in time, it pauses indefinitely. And you could use the Argo uh, rollouts Quebectal plugin to promote the application and to actually make sure that your newly deployed image becomes the, the green version, so to speak, or the live version, right? or the stable version, as we call it. Yeah, but in those videos, I deploy the application with a Quebectal apply. Uh, this time, we will have to do uh, this from, uh, from within uh, the tooling. So let's do that. It's relatively easy uh, to do. Uh, so in uh, in this case, you have uh, the um, the uh, real time application name. The project we're gonna take default. I'm gonna sync with the Git repository manually. The repository URL will be the following one. The path will be uh, rollouts slash, and then it is uh, real time uh, can real-time can is that correct let's take a look yeah indeed demo reflux rollouts real-time can and the yaml files all the files within that folder will be picked up so in this case we we pick up uh, we pick up all these files from this folder here the destination will be in cluster so the cluster that argo cd is running in the namespace will be uh, default we will not recurse the directories because there are no directories underneath and I don't need arguments in this case. So I just do create, which creates the application. And of course, you will say in this case, well, the application, it's not, it's not there, it's missing. You see this here and it's out of sync. You're not syncing, you didn't sync with the Git repository yet. You just put the application uh, within Argo and that, that's all there is. I can click on the application um yeah it, it gives me uh it gives me uh this here a view on on what is within that uh, within that yaml file um you can also see that indeed we are now at uh, the following uh, revision here version 1.0.2 that was my latest uh, my latest commit uh, commit message um but not much is uh, is going on uh, here um if i'm going to my cluster and i'm doing a uh, cubectal uh, get pods, not prods, <laughs> uh, back to get pods. Uh, I don't see the pods over there. If I'm doing a um, Quebectal, so Quebectal uh, Argo uh, rollouts, get uh, rollout real time. Um, you will say, well, actually, did I do it correctly there? And now command, uh, did it go back to Argo rollouts? Wait, did I not? Oh, oh this is the wrong one. <laughs> Should be in Ubuntu because it's a Linux only thing. Uh, so go back to uh, Argo uh, rollouts, uh, list uh, rollouts. Um, there are no rollouts uh, yet. But I should use Quebec Toll. It's going well here. Quebec Toll, Argo rollouts, no resources found. So there is no there is no rollout happening here. That's normal because I didn't say automatic syncing. I didn't sync this application. So I'm going to go back to my list of applications. I could do it from the other page as well. I'm going to ask for a sync here. Yeah. Asks me a question. What do you want to do? In this case, I'm going to say, you know what? Just synchronize. Just do it. So he's now syncing. So he's getting, he's, he's syncing the content that he has in the Git repository with the cluster. Uh, so in the default uh, namespace, the application should be deployed. And as you can see here, he says it's progressing. Uh, so the application is here, it gets a bit more complicated now. And he says, I am progressing. What is progressing? 
Yeah, of course, if we are going to actually get the rollout here, yeah, the rollout in, um, so if I'm going to the real time app, the rollout is indeed progressing. Why? Because in my first step, I said, you know, you wait for 60 seconds. Um, or first you, you, you deploy everything eh? and then and then you wait uh, for 60 seconds and then uh, we'll see what happens. So we'll do this, but we'll use the watch option here and see what is uh, what is actually going on. Uh, so did he actually, yeah, now they're all running. Yeah, now they're all running and now it is it is healthy. So let's check back in uh, Argo CD. Clearly he says, yes, application is now healthy. We, we started up all the pods in the deployment. We synced with our Git repo, uh, where I had my commit tag here, or my commit uh, message, which was version 1.0.2. Um, and then that, that's of course nice. Uh, you get this, this nice view of all the resources within the application. So I have my, my, uh, my real-time application here. The real-time application is using, uh, is of course using uh, services and, and all kinds of things. But also a rollout. Eh? The rollout controls a replica set. And you see that here. There is a one replica set right now with five pots. Um, the replica set indeed is pointing to these five pots, which are called real time uh, real time app. We also have our ingress. The ingress has a certificate, which is not there yet, by the way. So it's not it's not uh, it's not given out yet. I'm not gonna check this because I might hit my uh, my let's encrypt limits here. Um, so yes, that's that's fine. The application is deployed. Now, what I want to do now is modify the application uh, and actually make sure that in my YAML file I'm going to go to version 1.0.0. Uh, so yeah, actually I'm going back. That doesn't that doesn't matter. Uh, let's save this. Let's uh, yeah, sync this all up. It doesn't matter. Uh, 1.0.0. I want to call it a little bit unclean what I'm doing now but okay that's fine uh, pushing it all to the uh, to the repo there's no checks or whatever when I'm pushing it to the repo so that's that's of course all demo as well uh, so let them just do that yes uh, the push has now happened which means I can now sync and something should of course happen here yeah so I'm gonna sync from this page synchronize Syncing is starting. Um, you should normally, in a while, detect that indeed yeah, we're now syncing with this version, where I, which my last commit tag, I said 1.0.0. He says suspended here. Okay, what, what, what does that mean, suspended? Well, yeah, let's take a look and see what he's doing here. So yeah, um, he's indeed paused. Why? Because I said in my first step, in my first canary step, you do, you, you're going to do 20% of traffic to this pod, but you're going to pause for 60 seconds. And I'm not doing anything special, it's just an example. I'm just pausing and then I progress to the next step where I expose 60% of the, uh, the canary release and then I will pause indefinitely. We're waiting for an operator to do something. Uh, as I told you also in the earlier videos, that's an example only. That's not something in production that you would probably want to do, but it, it uh, demonstrates how it, uh, how it works. So yeah, you see it here. We're over the 60 seconds. So now we're over 60 seconds. He is going to do the 60% balancing. And yeah, you might see that the pots are like um, three in, in, in canary and still five in stable but we chose to do the actual uh, traffic balancing with Nginx. So Nginx will make sure 60% goes to the, to the canary and 40% goes to the, to the stable application. But that also means now it's paused and now it will be paused indefinitely. There's nothing automatic going on, it's paused indefinitely. So somebody has to actually decide here, let's switch to, uh, from stable to canary where canary is 1.0.0. .0 .0. Okay, we could do that with a command line in this uh, in this tool, but of course, the Argo CD software recognizes a rollout. It knows that this is an Argo rollout, right? Um, which also means that if it's suspended, we might want to now do the actual promotion. 
So here, you click on this menu here, there's a resume. So the pause, we can resume. But resuming means we unpause it, and that basically also means we do a promotion. So if I resume here, I say yes, things will change here. And of course, things will change here as well. So he is progressing, and actually this went quite fast. So he says, I'm healthy already. We now go to five pots in the cannery. At the Nginx level, we do 100% to this, 0% to, let's say, the, the, uh, the older application. And the older one is actually scaled down to zero pots. So that went quite quickly. And you can see that also here now, now we're healthy. That's correct, we're healthy. We have the rollout. We have a rollout replica set here, which is actually going, which is going to the five pots. But here, when you look at the this replica set, there's nothing. There's no arrow leaving from there, so it's completely scaled down. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't, of course, go to any any pot there. Our ingress keeps on working, and and normally this one is uh, is the one that uh, is now it's not healthy as well. So I should have the certificate, maybe, and I can actually check that. I can go to my application here. Actually, I can click here. I click there, he goes to real time backlot info. And this version indeed is version 1.0.0 because if you have seen the previous videos, this has this soothing blue uh, header background here, right? Good. So, what have you seen in this video? You have seen in this video how to combine Argo rollouts, uh, the blue green deployments or the canary deployments uh, in Argo rollouts with uh, Argo CD, which allows you to do these kinds of deployments uh, using a, a GitOps approach. And because Argo CD also has a nice interface for operators to look at and so on, if an operator needs to decide or someone needs to decide, we need to progress to the correct version. For example, if you're doing it simple and you have blue-green deployments, somebody has to decide, let's switch over to green because we've done our tests and so on. Maybe you haven't automated everything fully yet. You can very easily, using the integration with rollouts, uh, resume uh, from uh, from here yeah that works all nicely uh, actually good that's it so quicker video than uh, than otherwise i hope you you liked uh, you like this one probably in uh, one of the other uh, videos coming and based on uh, argo rollouts we'll look at how to do instrumentation and experiment it's a bit more complicated uh, so we'll uh, we'll have that probably out in in one of these uh, these days thanks for watching see you again next time